So the first and most obvious change is they added the new prison event. When you first get to the prison, you will find some locked doors, but if you go around through the gate, you will find raiders that kidnap you, and then the fun begins. When you're in the prison, your cellmate ends up breaking you out. Then once you get out of the prison, your cellmate invites you to come to the biker's base in which y'all are going to plan the biggest heist where you're going to take out the prison that just captured you. When you get to the bulletin board, you will see the choice to do assault or stealth. If you're an advanced player, stealth is the better option because it will allow you to use less resources. But if you are not an advanced player, there's a really good chance you will mess up stealth. And if you get caught, then it's gonna cost you a lot more resources to do stealth than it is to do assault. So if you are not an advanced player, or if you are not that skilled of a player, then I definitely recommend choosing the assault option here. Both options have six quests. You need to do three of them in order to do the prison, you can switch back, but if you do, you will end up resetting all your progress. Either option you choose, you will get the same exact rewards, so I recommend choosing the one that you are best suited for. They gave each of us a gift in our inbox that has a mask for us to wear and a bunch of other food. In typical fashion, they added a bunch of new skins in the season pass, including the new motorcycle or Iron Warrior, which looks absolutely awesome they added a free-to-play motorcycle skin which is pretty cool uh, it's a little farm truck which is kind of fun they added a raider backpack which looks so cool as well i'm really excited about trying to get this backpack and then lastly if you get premium all the way to level 40 you will unlock a new set of armor which looks so awesome it looks kind of like the black strider armor in doz which is really cool armor pretty excited about that armor they replaced the reputation tab with this store and they added three different patches to the game. They also added a new weapon called the Slasher. It is a melee weapon, it's really powerful, which those of you who watched the gameplay channel had a chance to win a season pass by guessing this weapon, which I told you guys what it was, so hopefully you guys were able to use that information and win a free season pass for this update. You'll see how food was changed where it heals slowly over time you see it has this highlighted bar uh, of how much it's going to heal and it slowly fills that in all of the healing seems to be the same amount that it used to be it's just slow over time whereas medicines they heal you instantly so bandages and first aid kits heal you instantly like they always did so you can see here the turkey it still heals you 100 it just takes a little bit more time before it does it now i know that some of you guys aren't gonna like the fact that food is healing slower because you guys didn't like it when they did it in grim soul you didn't like it when they added it in frostborn but this is a very necessary change for Kafir if they ever want to add multiplayer to this section of the game they're gonna have to make things heal slowly but not only is it helpful in multiplayer but even in single player it allows them to make more challenging things at a less intense scale for example if you can heal instantly all of your health then they have to make the challenge that you're going to get one shot at whereas if they make it to where you're going to heal slowly over time then on a developer's end they can focus on making challenges that are going to do damage to you at a certain rate that is going to if you're not careful outperform how fast your food can heal you. So I think this is a really good change over time. Right now it might seem lame because our food is going to heal us slower than we're used to, but I think overall this is going to make a better change in the long run. They fixed the bug to where you were no longer able to move your garage. They fixed a bug in which the fishing rod would not disappear when its durability got down to one, it would just stay at one. And so they, they ended up fixing that to where it now will be destroyed if it loses all of its durability. They also fixed a bug in which temporary buffs were labeled wrong, especially with some of the dishes, and they were able to fix all of those to where now when you see a temporary buff, you have the buff that it says that you have. So that's all of the hidden changes I've found so far. I may add a few more on this screen, or if I missed any and you guys tell me in the comments, or if I find any as I keep playing this new update, I will put them in the pin post. So this is gonna be the new way that I'm doing these uh, changes videos is I'm going to post it right with the update, 
but then I'm gonna put them on the bottom so that you guys can see all of the changes. So one video has all of the changes. If there are any changes that I missed, I will make sure they are in the pin post or on the screen, and that way you guys have all of them in one place. So if you guys are watching this pretty early, maybe come back in a couple days, check the pin post, make sure that I didn't miss any changes, and that way you guys have all of the changes of this update. Which on that note, I may have missed a few more hidden changes than usual because I was working on a giant hidden changes video for Kafir's more advanced game, Frostborn, which they are going to be releasing globally soon, and it was a crazy update, an unbelievable update, biggest update they've ever made. And so they were releasing that around the same time. And so I was putting all my time into that. But in the future, hopefully the updates won't come at the same time again. And uh, I'll be ready to have all of the changes uh, for you guys right when the update comes out. Lastly, this video was sponsored by Red Magic. I play on a Red Magic 3S, which I love and I could not recommend it more to you guys. It has amazing specs, awesome gaming triggers, and so much more. If you wanna know more about this phone, make sure to check out my non-sponsored video about this phone called How to Get More Buttons. I also put information in the description and pinned comment of this video. Well, that's it guys, hope that helps. I make videos on all kinds of games but every Friday I make an extremely high quality video for all gamers of all games. Sometimes those are exhaustive overview guides of new games that I think you should try and sometimes I talk about a gaming concept with the hope that it blows your mind. If that interests you make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out on those. Alright guys I'll see you next time.